Good morning, and thank you for listening to our multimedia web briefing for the potential wintry precipitation through this weekend. I am Sarah Johnson, meteorologist at your National Weather Service office in Amarillo. The system we're looking at uh, will be a two-punch system with the first round of wintry precipitation starting right now and continuing through late tonight. With this first round, we are expecting very low wind chill values, especially this morning. Light accumulations of both ice and snow through tonight and windy conditions through early this afternoon. The northwest panhandles will see primarily very light accumulations of snow with some sleet possible. The rest of the panhandles, this includes Amarillo, Borger, Beaver, Pampa, and Hereford, will see primarily freezing rain and some sleet mixed in. In the areas that will have primarily snow, again this is mainly the northwest panhandles, the biggest impact will be the very low wind chill values this morning. A few icy bridges and overpasses are also possible. For the rest of the panhandle, the areas that will see mostly freezing rain, we expect the primary impact to be icy overpasses and bridges and ice accumulations on elevated surfaces. Although ground temperatures are still above freezing at this hour, we could see icy spots on surface roads as early as midday. If you are driving today, please exercise caution for icy roads. The second round of wintry precipitation is expected late Saturday through Sunday night. With this event, we are expecting mostly snow across all of the panhandles, though some sleet is also possible. Here are the latest forecasted snow totals with the second round of precipitation. The southern Texas panhandle could see 3 to 5 inches, while the rest of the region could see up to 3 inches. However, there is still some uncertainty with the snow amounts and the locations that will have the highest amounts. We are, however, relatively confident on the precipitation type being mostly snow and on the timing of this system. One of the complications with this two-punch system is that for much of the area, temperatures may be below freezing all weekend long. So any winter precipitation we get, either today or with the second punch Saturday into Sunday, may not melt until Monday. For the latest forecast in this evolving system, please be sure to check out our website at www.weather.gov forward slant AMA. We'll also be posting updates on our Twitter and Facebook pages through the weekend. Thank you again for listening.